macOS 14.2 is officially available, and this is actually a pretty big update for macOS that introduces some great new features. First, we get the new enhanced autofill for PDFs, which will basically allow you to quickly fill out a PDF based on your contact info for yourself or even people in your contacts. If I were to select one of these contact options that are popping up here, it'll fill out all of my personal and relevant information for the fields that it can recognize, like my name, birthday, email addresses, and your actual mailing address. You can also right click and select autofill for contacts or passwords. Pretty useful stuff for filling out PDFs quickly and easily. In the messages app, you can now add a sticker quickly via a tap back reaction. Just right click on the message and select add sticker for your own custom stickers or emojis. There's also the same group chat catch up indicator arrow here that we get in iOS 17.2, but now you get that in the messages app on the Mac. So whenever your group chat activity has gotten too crazy, just out of hand and you're really far behind, you can catch up by clicking up on this arrow and reading the top of the unread messages. Inside of the weather app, we now have precipitation amounts being shown for rain or snow over the next 10 days, as well as some new widgets that shows you information for next hour precipitation, daily forecast, sunrise and sunset times, and current conditions like air quality, feels like, and wind speed. Speaking of wind, the new wind map snapshot helps you assess wind patterns, and you get this cool little animation with the wind map overlay to better prepare yourself for forecasted wind conditions over a 24-hour period. In the clock app, we now finally get multiple timers for the Mac that you can run simultaneously and create a name for each timer. There are also timer presets that help you quickly start a timer with a range of preset options, as well as access to your most recent timers that you can easily restart at any time. Lastly, there are a few other miscellaneous updates like your favorite songs in Apple Music now being aggregated into a favorites playlist. The use listening history option in Apple Music can now be disabled in a focus mode, so the music that you listen to won't appear in recently played or influenced recommendations. And there's now the Shazam music recognition option for your menu bar and control center, where you can quickly toggle on for music identification and see your past Shazam history, as well as delete some of those songs if you want to. And that's it. Those are some of the new features in macOS 14.2 that I think you should definitely check out. And I want to hear from you in the comments down below what your favorite features were. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.